lead me, Cypo Man. Non -threat. In my shed, Cyborg Man, nobody could find you there. Come on, come on. None of the flyovers have come up with anything yet, but we have to be ready to move swiftly once our subject is spotted. Our priority is to contain this as quickly and as quietly as possible. You know, Cybo Man, if you want, you could you could call me Lawnmower Man. Everybody does. Terry says that's because I fix things and, and I mow lawns better than anybody in the whole world. That's what Terry said. If you ever want anything fixed, Cybo Man, I could fix it for you, okay? You know, Cybo Man, if those bad guys come here, we can go into the church. You know who's in there? God. Creatures at the altar. It's sacrilege. Job? Job? Where are you, boy? You're never here where you should be. You know what I got? Yeah. All of them. This is the one I like, Cyborg Man. See that? <laughs> That's you. I can't read, but I can look at all the pictures, and I, I know what you was doing. Cyborg Man, you know, you my hero. Are you hungry? Got it. Thanks. Local police just got a strange call from the priest at St. Anthony's. Said there's some kind of weird animal at the church. That's it. Move your men out. Let's go. Hit it. This artillery, you can just take them out with a tranquilizer gun. Huh? Someone in the building with the animal. Yes, Job Smith, a church handyman. He resides in the shed. Job? Job Smith, the lawnmower man? Yes. You know the guy? Yeah, he does my lawns. He's, uh, he's a local fixture around here. Yeah, I don't have a back door. If I had a back door. Job's IQ couldn't be more than 45 or so. Oh, and he Jesus. knows me, Tim. So does Roscoe. Okay, I'll go in there. I'll get Job out, all right? You just got to promise me one thing. But I take Roscoe out alive, okay? What are we gonna do? Hello, Joe? 
Joe, Joe, hello? Hello, this is Dr. Angelo. I, I live on Sycamore Lane, and, and you do my loans every week. It's Dr. Angelo. Uh, uh, listen to me. Uh, uh, you, you have a friend of mine in there. And uh, could you and, and the friend just come over to the door, please? Those are bad guys with you, Dr. Angelo, and they hurt him, and I don't want him to hurt him no more. Come on, guys, it's just a little chimp. Easy. It's all right, Joe. Don't worry now. Listen, everything's okay. No one's gonna get hurt. Uh, he's, he's bleeding, you know. You can help him. Just take him over to the door, and I'll be right here. What are we gonna do, Simon? Could you use your invisible powers? Huh? Come on. That's what we'll do. <laughs> okay, Joe. Nice and easy. All right. Everything's okay. Just call it, guys. Okay? Just call it. Jim, weapon is visible. Prepare to fire. Natural research up there. <laughs> you get that thing off these grounds immediately. Excuse me, we need to take him with us for some questions. You have no authority here. Job has been a ward of this church since he was five years old. In many ways, he still has the mind of a child. And I'm sure this experience has caused him serious damage. There will be no need to question Job. We are so very sorry that this happened here today, Father McKean. Now, we will, of course, pay for any damages. I will see to it personally that VSI makes a large contribution to the church. Tithing is a blessed act. And, Father, as far as what happened here today, I, I hope I can have your agreement to create as little publicity as possible. 